What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the brew lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the brew lab, I'm coming at you with a Esper Proliferate Toxic deck. Uh, we're trying to apply toxic you know, poison counters <clears throat> without having the need of any creatures. Um, so there's a few instants and sorceries in the set that apply poison counters, and then we're going to be relying on proliferate uh, to get the opponent up to 10 poison counters, at which point they lose the game. <clears throat> and so, without further ado, let's jump into tonight's brew, aptly named Esper Toxliferate. <laughs> We're really just splashing a tiny bit of white into what is essentially a Dimir deck, uh, which gives us access to sweepers. As you know, black has no sweepers right now that are worth mentioning. So we had to splash a bit of white for some sweeper action, and that gives us access to six total. Uh, and we'll get to them in a moment. But um, talking about those cards that apply poison counters, we've got Prologue to Phyresis, two mana. Each opponent gets a poison counter, draw a card, instant speed. That's one where we're going to be doing it. And then we've got Vraska's Fall. Uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker and gets a poison counter. Once they have those poison counters, the rest of the deck is going to be trying to proliferate. So we've got um, uh, a lot of these proliferate cards. Drowning the Ikor, fairly decent removal. Just kind of giving it a try. The sorcery speed is a bit meh. The minus four, minus four, can't deal with shield red. Meh. But uh, eh, it's been okay, uh, mostly because of the proliferate, right? And there are a lot of things that it does handle, and especially these, uh, you know, things with indestructible and, and whatnot. The minus four, minus four can get around. Um, and then, of course, proliferates. Then we've got uh, Experimental Augury, another little bit of card draw. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the rest into the bottom of your library in a random order. Proliferate. So again, those poison counters that we applied, continue to stack up <clears throat> then we've got a couple copies of reject imperfection new like three mana counter spell for the set there's one in every set this one of course proliferates it just kind of fits the theme of course uh, but it only proliferates if you counter a spell that's mana value three or less so just keep that in mind um, and that's it as far as the uh, instants and sorceries that proliferate the other cards are going to take advantage of the three um, poison count is being applied. Um, it's called Corrupted. If you haven't played with it already, it, it, once the opponent arrives at three poison counters, Corrupted gets turned on. And so we have cards like Anoint with Affliction, uh, which can exile a card creature if it has mana value three or less, uh, when the opponent has no poison counters or less than three. But then once Corrupted is active, you can just exile any creature for two mana at instant speed. Pretty nice. Uh, other card that takes advantage of the uh, yeah, Corrupted is Bring the Ending. Phenomenal new counterspell. Gonna take the place of Make Disappear, of course, especially in decks that have some Toxic, because, again, once you get to three, you can um, counter a target spell for two mana. Uh, before you get to three, it's two mana counter target spell unless it's controller phase two, which is like make disappear. Um, but make disappear, you know, good in the early game, but only like the opponent can still get around it by paying. And then later on in the game gets better. Uh, in a deck like ours that doesn't generate very many tokens, a spell like invoke uh, make disappears obviously a lot worse uh, because. Uh, we have nothing to sacrifice to the casualty mechanic. Here, where we're fully trying to get the opponent to 10 poison counters, it's obviously a lot better. Um, and then the last final card with the corrupted mechanic is Distorted Curiosity, which at first glance, three mana draw two seems terrible, but then once you got corrupted, it costs two less to cast if an opponent you know, has three or more poison counters. So for one blue mana, draw two cards, between Distorted Curiosity, Prologue to Phoresis, Augmented Augury, uh, Experimental Augury, and then uh, Vraska's uh, Zero Ability, which we're, we're about to get to, we have plenty of card draw. Talking about Vraska, it's one of the completed Planeswalkers from the set, so it's got Phyrexian Mana. You can either cast it for five mana, 
um, and it have entered the uh, then and and two life and have it enter the battlefield as a four loyalty planeswalker, or you can pay um, the full six mana, and then it enters the battlefield with six loyalty. And uh, you can zero, which is essentially like a plus one, because you draw a card and proliferate, so you proliferate your own planeswalker. That's an, the final card in the deck that proliferates and uh, is going to hopefully be our win card, which is why we've gone for three of them. Uh, the second mode is some removal. Just bear in mind that Vraska suffers from what a lot of planeswalkers suffer from in the current meta there's plenty of good removal um you know even just the new shieldred's edict is insane I've, I've, people are running four of <laughs> of the damn thing um so oftentimes when you play it you're going to get hit with something straight away um if not shieldred's edict or something the very next turn they'll just invoke despair you so Make sure that the first activation when she hits the board is a good one. Um, you'll obviously be able to tell when it's important to go for the minus two or for the zero. But then hopefully the plan here is once she's on the board, we can protect her with our counter spells and proliferate up to nine loyalty. Where then we can minus nine. And if the target player has fewer than nine poison counters, they get a number of poison counters equal to the difference. So it brings them right up to the threshold of death. And then all we'll need is any other one of our proliferate spells to, uh, you know, to bring the opponent to zero and that, uh, I mean to 10 and that'll win us the game. So yeah, hope this strategy is clear. It's a little bit convoluted. Um, last little bit of info, we, we talking about the sweepers. We all know Path of Peril and Depopulate. They've been around for a while, uh, but White Sun's Twilight is a new one. I like the versatility, uh, you know, if, if uh, X is four or I mean four or less. Uh, you get to create X of these one one colorless Phyrexian might uh, tokens with toxic, importantly. But then if X is five or more, so for seven total mana, you destroy all creatures, then create the mites. So the opponent's board is swept. You're left with five mites. Um, of course. The sky's the limit, however much mana you have, as long as it's five or more, you, you get the sweep effect and the mites, and then the following turn you may be able to attack in with those mites and get them to the you know to the ten poison that we need. Uh now just looking at these mite tokens, I've thought about maybe just cutting one Rafine's tower and I'm gonna slot in. Is that what I wanna take out, or should we take out the underground river? Also, hmm. Anyway, the point is I want to play a Mirex. <laughs> Just a one of Makes Mites tokens. Seems like a good idea in a deck that's trying to do some toxic shenanigans to have one of your lands that can create toxic creatures. Alright, so that's the deck. Uh, let's jump into some games and see how it performs. Sitting around midway between Platinum 2. Had a couple of good wins with it. But uh, honestly, I'm not too impressed with these uh, toxic decks. Even the Simic one that everybody's raving about now that the preliminary data is in on untapped isn't getting much higher than like a 45% win rate. So it may be just a learning curve problem where people are still figuring out the best way to play it. But the pre-existing decks like Mono Red and whatnot still continue to be the better, the better option. Not the best hand. It is, however, very early days in the matter, so who knows? Anything can happen. Oh, soldiers is great. I think we've, I think we should be able to handle soldiers fairly decently. Spadoink. Missing land drops is the worst. Like the worst. Literally the worst. Dude, are you kidding me, little shit? Land, please. Thank you. Yeah. First poison counter applied through Prologue to Phyresis. Let's hope he plays, uh... That's who I was hoping for. Right there. Um, 
I think we go for Drown in the Echo, then that means we get to hold up uh, Anointed Affliction. But we can only do mana value two, uh, three or less now with this. We can get one more. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better target. Okay, well, at least we get to um, draw two for one. Because they're at three poison. Now, Distorted Curiosity drops in cost. Now we need to get to seven mana for these uh, White Suns. Twilight, we need another white source. <clears throat> Very nice. Let's hold up, uh, bring the ending. Now it's uh, just count as anything for two mana. I'll leave that. One, two, three. So if we draw one more land, we can go White Sun's Twilight. That's a bit of a pity. Let's hope to find some removal for the Siege Veteran. Sure. Obviously, he goes for the Frontliner. But I'm just trying to get to... Oh, maybe he's got the dam. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not everybody runs this anymore. Like, there's maybe a two of in the whole deck. We need another land next turn, though. Like, oh, well, this is gonna completely slip out of control. Yeah, why is Hilde. Then I probably activate his fortified beachhead, I guess. It's a big hit. Six, seven, eight. Okay, it's land or nothing. Yes. He's got another counter spell, I'll freaking lose it. We also gain five life, which is pretty amazing. That is nice. That is nice. Note we're on, uh, we got five toxic creatures. White Sun's Twilight. And that land coming in clutch off the top. Really happy with that. All right, all right, all right, all right. On to game number two. Soldiers taken down. I don't think we'll do quite as well against mono red. In the you know the just old mechanized warfare swift spear mono red, but we do have a fair bit of sweeper action and quite a bit of spot removal. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that white sun is such a swing. Like, sweep the board, you get five creatures. It's, it's brilliant. It's a tough keep, but I'm gonna do it because I'm crazy. We just get to hold up, bring the ending. Okay. 
someone who's uh, a very boring person. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I guess they probably just threw in some um, ossifications and called it a day. White sauce, please. Somehow I just knew it. Need a white sauce or it's uh, pretty bad news. Did you have any doubt in your mind that this would be the card coming off the top of the library? So he gets one, two, three, four, five, becomes a nine, two, nine, ten, eleven damage. Just one less damage. White source off the top. Untapped white source off the top, please deck. That's the game. The next, the very next card. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody who just stubbornly refuses to play a new archetype mr selesnia enchantments still a thorn in my side one of the defeats that i like the least oh thank you pardon little internet kerfuffle and we're back. Sorry about that. Shifted my uh You all know my e my email already anyway. This USB port is temperamental. Okay, so one win against soldiers, one loss against Silesnia. Those are both top tier decks. Investor one. Let's see if we don't get like a mono black, something like that. Yeah, it still be nice. By the way, Grixis mid range, like, uh, you know, finally people just got bored. Fable into Shieldred into Invoke. It's been a while since I've played that. Uh, more cool th new things to do, I guess. Keeping people entertained. What is, what is this? What is this? This is called a mulligan. I think we can put the Twilight away for now. There we go. How many times has that happened? There's only two in the deck. You you bottom the one, you top it, the next one, the next time. This is ridiculous, this game.
Come on, baby. Again with this. I, I think we need to put in another white source. It's too crucial. These sweepers are too important. Fortunately, Mirex taps for a man of any color when it enters the battlefield. Whew. Now you'll just play shield grid and we're screwed. Because we've got so much card draw. Okay. Just wow. At least we got this. One mana draw two. Seems legit. Plays Shelly, we can go Vraska, kill Shelly, but then he'll probably respond with a uh, invoke, and that'll just okay. Okay, somebody's trying out the Arc Fiends. We can't take the six damage, so we have to play Vraska, but we take two. And if he has one of those, like, what's it called, Undying Malice or something, we're just screwed. Pyrexian life will rise from your corpses. Okay, no, it's not a... Uh, it wouldn't be saved by that kind of thing, because it doesn't die. It just becomes an artifact. Now you can either blitz in the underdog and swing at me. Or just cast it in book and we lose, so what else? Hopefully. Hopefully. Is there a way that he can do this? Yeah, he just can he can just play a trespasser now and eat his own card. Hmm. Okay. A fight? And you think you can drop it? One, two, three. On the verge of victory. If we can just attack with these mites, we will. Okay, so of course he gets rid of one. one of your friends has to leave. But we can still swing for four plus proliferate once with Frasca. I'm still dreading invoke at this point, like. Okay. 
can still get him. One poison counter here, one proliferate here. for the underdog. Guess he's trying to find another something cheap like cut down or something. We still got him. little lucky there there weren't too many uh invokes but we did it that's the win con right there i'm making up for that last match against uh selesnia very nice very nice that's three top tier decks we lost two soldiers i mean we beat soldiers we lost to selesnia we beat mono black somebody trying the the dross fiend i think Time for the final match of the night. Let's try and end on a victory. And I'm gonna call it. Oh. YSKB. Very nice. On the play. Counter spells, card draw, poison counters, blah blah blah. Again black, huh? Nice. Go for looking great. Say none of that. This is amazing if he plays uh, Shield right now. is active so anoint with affliction can take out children to Shieldred. Opponents breaking, unfortunately. Alright. Sucks to be you, my friend. I don't know, guys. This actually may be something to this. Once I get the play patterns down better, uh, I think the question is, am I right to splash the white um, to get access to the sweepers? And I think the answer is yes. Give me a version... I'll show you what I've been cooking up here. A little bonus, bonus brew at the end. Uh, Demir. This is trying to take more advantage of a few of the creatures that we got. The Voidwing Hybrid and Vensa the Corpse Puppet. But, and as you can see, pretty much all the same cards from the other deck. 
by just removing the sweepers, we get access to this stuff. Then relying more heavily on counter magic to make up for the fact that we don't have sweepers. I don't know. This in testing, even though it looks pretty cool, did not perform anywhere near as well as the, the Esper version, which is why uh, this is the one I recorded tonight. So, one defeat, three wins. Uh, I like the addition of the Mirex there at the final moment. White Sun's Twilight, amazing card. The life gain is really good. Uh, even at lower than five, it's just nice to get that little life gain as well in a deck that, you know, the proliferate here makes you lose life. Um, you know, the the plus one, I mean, the, yeah, the plus one, and also just casting her for five makes you pay some life. So it's nice to have a little bit of mitigation for that kind of stuff. Otherwise, nothing much else that I need to add. Uh, there was one other count, uh, card. That was in consideration. Um, but I, th I felt like I already had enough card draw. But this is one you might consider. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. You draw two cards, lose two life. Each opponent gets a poison counter. It's the only other card um, that does that. That we didn't put in the deck, right? Um, yeah, these things don't... Ooh. No. So you see... The, the ones that actually like instant and sorceries that give poison counters are these three and i put full play sets of two of them this i thought was the weakest one so anyway um that is going to be it for tonight's gameplay footage thank you all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you all the day after tomorrow with another fresh fresh brew and until then this is lone fox from the brew lab signing out peace y'all